Hi Legionnaires, Steve Cox here with you from High Tech Legion. You know, it's pretty difficult for a new company uh, to come out swinging and really make a name for themselves in the world of PC gaming and uh, in particular the peripherals for PC gaming. But that's exactly what this company has done. This is the Hermes Mechanical Keyboard by Gamdius. Uh, this gaming keyboard is made from Cherry MX Blue switches and really has quite a few features that I think are going to prove to be pretty useful for you know novice gamers and even for some of the most intense and competitive gamers in the field. Alright, so here we get a little better look at the uh, a close-up of the box itself. Again, this is the Hermes uh, Mechanical Gaming Keyboard by a company called Gamdius. They are a new company um, from Europe, and they uh, really seem to have come out with some nice ideas. If I look down here, let me zoom in for you. You look down here in the corner, it shows some of their ideas here. They've got basic stuff like additional macro keys, you know, external ports, quick attach wrist rest, and a premium microprocessor. But this right here, the Gamdius Element, um, that's something I've seen a lot of people do. It's basically rubber, uh, rubber washers underneath each of these keys. Again, this is the mechanical blue switches, so they are the ones with... Uh, quite a bit of clacking and clicking going on and the Gamdius element reduces the travel of each key press uh, you know which increases clicking speed flip it over and take a quick look at the back um, it basically just goes over some of the features and then of course package contents uh, which we'll go over in a moment now, I've already pulled everything out of the box just because the packing is actually really, really thorough and, and really protective. It's multiple boxes with foam and everything holding it in place. So this is a look at the actual keyboard. This is the uh, Hermes Mechanical Keyboard by Gamdius. You can see here the Gamdius logo. It actually took me a little while to realize that it says Zeus. It's a Z-E-U-S. Um, and that's lit up in kind of a yellow backlighting, which is nice. It breaks up the monotony of the uh, black and red keyboard. And uh, while I've got you in tight right there, you can see six of the macro keys. Um, and that is M1, M2, M3, M4, 5, and 6. Uh, those are located, you can see, directly under the spacebar for those three. And then right here, kind of between the... Uh, just underneath and between the arrow keys and the control. That way it's usable if you're using the arrow keys for directions uh, in game then those keys are still quite usable. Let me back back out here and you can see on the left hand side and I'll get another tight look at those another five macro keys and they are labeled G1 through G5. Um, all of these are fully programmable. In fact, the entire keyboard is fully programmable and fully backlit. Uh, it's pretty well lit here. Let me turn off some lights. You can see the lighting here. Just one moment. There you go. I want to show off this feature real fast. Back back out a moment. One of the things I like about this keyboard is that while maintaining a standard keyboard layout, they have added in all of their profile switching and all of their light controls and a full array of media keys which uh, you know are also the F1 through F12 keys um, and you have backwards and forwards play pause mute volume up volume down and then a lock button here the lock button you know when you use the function and you press it and it locks out the keyboard so none of the other buttons nothing does anything on there and then again you just press it again and it opens right up and you can't see my computer screen there but it does uh, change that again the function key and the number keys over here the number eight and the number two also serve as the light up 
and it makes it dark. That's actually light down, obviously. And then the light up, and you can see it goes through the stages all the way up to fully bright, which is actually a breathing module. You'll see it slowly come back on there, and then it'll fade back out. And it's actually a, a it just kind of breathes. So uh, I generally tend to keep it on the next one down from there, which is just full brightness. And so again, you can see the full lit keyboard. Um, again, I really like the idea that they have used that function key so that a lot of the buttons serve dual purposes uh, so that you're not, you don't have a cluttered keyboard with a lot of, lot of extra buttons. Um, another thing I really like here, let me get tight on it again. Over here at the arrow keys, you'll see another two macro keys. That is macro 7 and macro 8. So if you're using the arrow keys for movement, um, or whether even if you're not, you have the additional two macro buttons there along with the three across the bottom that I mentioned. So some really, really nice, well thought out placement for macro keys and their uh, use by either ambidextrous players or uh, again, players who are either left or right handed. Let me flip it over to the back and take a look at these little feet on the back. Even those are pretty well done and very solid. You can hear they snap into place very, very solidly. And the entire foot, uh, the entire bottom of the foot is rubber so that it will not slide around once you have it in place. Or at least it won't slide around easily. So again, you can watch as I, you know, if you're typing and you really push on it, you can see my whole table moving, but the keyboard does not. Again, you can see the, this is the Cherry MX Blue. You can see the blue switch. You can hear the clicking. And normally you would hear uh, with the key on there, it does have normal clicking, but normally you would hear that really thud, that clank at the bottom uh, whenever the key bottoms out. Then let me get that back off of there. But again, I mentioned the Gamdius element, which is really pretty simply this little rubber piece, which goes across every key. Now, a lot of these are individually done, but the majority, all of these here, is one solid piece that lays across there. I've taken a few off and checked it out. That's why I use the escape key as my example. Uh, and then again, when you replace that, now it is a standard Cherry MX Blue switch. You can see that the it's much louder. And uh, you can actually see, if I get you at more of an angle there, you can see the travel di distance is much longer than some of these others. See that bottoms out there with the Gamdius element in place and that one goes much further and you can hear the difference. So uh, that Gamdius element is going to be I think a real game changer uh, when it comes to these uh, mechanical gaming keyboards. I have long held that the Cherry MX Blue switches were not necessarily the best for uh, gaming, but I know a lot of people still love them, and a lot of companies use them, and again, people go back and basically mod the keyboards and add in their own rubber washers. It's nice to see a company taking the initiative and doing that themselves so that the end user no longer has to. All right, one of the other things I want to point out, I nearly neglected to do so, uh, is this wrist rest. Now this is a very large wrist rest. You can see it's nearly the size of the keyboard itself, but there's a reason for that. First off, it provides a really nice solution for people who do like wrist rest. Uh, I don't use it myself, but uh, it is a great solution, giving plenty of room for the palms of the hands or the heel of the hands or for your wrist, depending on your style of use. And uh, the best part about it is that it is magnetic. You can see the magnets here and here, and it just snaps right on. You just get it close and it snaps in place. So there's no little plastic clips to break. There's no little attachments to come off, and you don't have to pick up the whole keyboard and struggle to get it on there every time. So 
so you just drop it in place, use it, and when you're done, it flips right around and sits just like that and doubles as a cover which covers your keyboard and keeps it safe from dust and other debris or even possibly some spillage of you know drinks or anything like that and finally one last thing I want to point out you can see the uh, USB pass through and then the microphone and headphone jack and from the front I want to get nice and tight you can see that it is labeled there you can just make it out with the USB symbol and then a line that leads right around to it the microphone symbol and a line that leads right around to it and a headphone symbol that, and a line that leads right around to it so that while it's sitting there and it's in use and you're just typing away furiously and you need to break out your microphone or headphone or plug in anything another USB for uh, you know whether it be a thumb drive or a microphone itself anything you can just reach right around there and hit those holes without having to pick the whole keyboard up and search for them or climb over the desk to look for it uh, so just little things like that I think really make the Gamdius Hermes mechanical keyboard a really nice keyboard uh, especially for gaming and for being able to utilize all of its features quickly and easily so that's a quick overview of the Hermes by Gamdias again the macro keys the function buttons uh, serving multiple purposes there you do have 10 profiles and let me mention that a another thing that the function button does each one of the buttons 1 through 0 serve as profile 1 through profile 10 and again so you can on the fly quickly just change profiles any of the stored profiles that you have and that will change your lighting setup change your macros setup and again every individual key is fully programmable and can be assigned to any key so if you're using for example WASD for movement you can set Q and E, RFV, any of these others for any kind of macro you would want along with the standard macro buttons um, things like that are going to make this a great key gaming keyboard uh, it does have military grade full braided cable it is 2.2 meters long and uh, let me unplug it real fast you can see gold plated USB and a microphone and a headphone jack uh, it does have it does have a velcro strap here with their Gamdius name on there you can just make it out if I can get it in focus and those cables are all individually braided and uh, very well done very nicely done very solid even the connection here has the Hermes logo on it let me zoom in tight for that alright guys so my final thoughts for the Gamdius Hermes mechanical keyboard using the Cherry MX Blue switches and the Gamdius Element is uh, really I'm going to give it a gold award. I'm really pretty impressed with the keyboard itself even though when I first got it I was like eh Cherry MX Blue who cares you know but uh, they've really resolved a lot of the problems I have with the Cherry MX Blue. The travel distance is much shorter, the clicking speed is much faster and the noise level is much much lower making this a in my opinion a much better keyboard for gaming and of course the Cherry MX Blues are amazing when it comes to typing I, I prefer them for typing uh, but never really have for gaming um, everything else included with the keyboard the all the function keys and all the different possibilities for programming and everything the built-in memory 512 kilobytes uh, or kilobits as it were of memory um, the pass-through at the top which I forgot to mention earlier um, and the microphone and headphone jack in place which obviously goes through to the cabling at the end which I did show but uh, neglected to show in the top here uh, probably go back and add that in forgive me either way though all of those kinds of things really make it a great gaming keyboard it's very very solid uh, I had it on the table I was trying to show it but 
I really want to show here, you know, if you try to twist on it or anything, you know, if you're sitting there and you die and you get mad and you hit it, it's not going to just fall apart, you know. Uh, it's a very, very solid keyboard. So, uh, and then again, the wrist rest, which I don't have with me right now, but I showed earlier the wrist rest, which attaches magnetically here and doubles as a keyboard cover. Almost sounds gimmicky, but it's actually really cool. Now, I don't use a wrist rest myself uh, because I don't care. I'm going to have carpal tunnel syndrome and I'll be totally crippled later on. But the idea of being able to cover your keys while you go and do other things is pretty nice. I mean, your keyboard gets dusty and dirt and everything else gets in there. Or you might spill food or drink in it and things like that. Maybe you sit there and watch a movie or a TV show on your computer and you don't want to get you know, crumbs and things in your keyboard. So that being able to use the wrist rest doubled as a key cover is actually a pretty cool little idea. Um, again, my only complaint, and maybe they can rough this out later, is their software. It's not hard, it's not bad, but it's a little bit wonky and it's a little bit busy. When I pull it up, uh, it actually took me a while. There was a, a greater learning curve in figuring out how to use it, how to use macros, or how to create macros, how to, uh, pretty much the only thing that was easy was setting up the lighting, but there's only one thing and then you can do that from here. You literally don't even need the software to control the lighting. Again, I mentioned the function key and the, uh, you know, the eight and the two button working as lighting up and lighting down. But inside the software, you can set up everything's from alarms and timers, uh, sound effects and things like that. And I showed all of that in another video. Uh, I implore you to come over there if you're interested and take a look at the uh, user guide and how, how the software works, basically. Again, that software is the Hera software for the Gamdias Hermes uh, mechanical gaming keyboard. Um, so once again, and finally, a gold award for the Hermes and for Gamdias. Pretty nice job coming out a new company into the PC gaming peripheral market. Um, fairly impressed with the keyboard itself. Uh, maybe get some guys to work on the software a little bit and tweak it, make it just more intuitive. That's all I'm asking, and I think that's what most people would ask. Uh, but otherwise, a very, very nice keyboard. I thank you for watching. Again, I'm Steve with High Tech Legion signing out. Um, we would love for you to come join our forums over at www.hightechlegion.com. Get over on our Facebook page also and give us a like there. Uh, we just passed over 20,000 likes there and we're really happy with that. But we need more. Come on guys, give, give us a like on Facebook. That'd be great. And if you're into Twitter, you follow Twitter and you like your Twitter updates, we're on Twitter. So everything we do, our news articles, all of our new reviews, uh, you can get those feeds through Twitter and a daily or weekly Twitter update. So give us a give us a follow on Twitter and we'll see you there. Thanks.